New at 430, they've been saving lives high above the skies of Hampton Roads for four decades now. We're talking about the Air Ambulance Nightingale. A team of former military members maintain and fly the helicopter. Mike Gooding picks up the story from here. It was February 25th, 1982, and Nightingale took off for the very first time. Now, three aircraft and 24,000 patient flights later, the program celebrates its 40th anniversary today. Nightingale was the first hospital-based helicopter ambulance in Virginia. It has made it possible for scores of critically ill and injured patients to reach the closest, most appropriate hospital in the shortest amount of time in order to have their complex illnesses or injuries immediately addressed. I get to fly a helicopter. I get to help out the community. It's my second career, retired Army. But doing this, it's just, it's, it's an awesome, awesome profession to have. Pilot Scott Nance is a retired Army Chief Warrant Officer 5 who flew various combat helos in Somalia, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Now he and two retired Navy pilots and a retired Coast Guard pilot man the controls of Nightingale with the help of two mechanics, one who was in the Marines and one who was in the Navy. They already served their country in one way, now they're serving it in this way. It's very nice to know that we contribute to the community and taking people, you know, from their worst time back to the hospitals. The program has never made any money. It operates at an annual deficit approaching seven figures as part of Centera's not-for-profit mission. Forty years and still growing strong. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. And Nightingale flies more than 700 missions per year and has a remarkable safety record.